Hey, this is Alex Kasiniuk, and I wanted to talk about the 3D manipulator. So, what it is is this um, blue, green, and red arrows in the center of your cube here. So, besides using the shortcut keys to manipulate objects, you can actually use the 3D manipulator. And a lot of programs actually take advantage of this and have this feature. It might be called a widget, though, or some kind of other tool. But, I mean, it's actually a nice alternative to have, because all you have to do is left-click and drag, and you can actually move the object in any axis. So, in Blender, always blue represents the z-axis. So, I mean, you just have to remember that blue represents z, green represents y, and red represents the x-axis. So once you remember that, it will make your workflow a lot easier, because you can just um, grab and drag wherever you want. So, the manipulator helps when you actually want to move your objects in a certain axis. Um, so, I mean, besides moving them by just pressing G and grabbing, you can actually directly move it along a certain axis without having to use the uh, access keys and grabbing it. Anyways, at default the manipulator is set for translation, so grabbing basically. But you can actually change the manipulator right um, down here. So all these different buttons down here represent a different manipulator. So right now it's set to the translation manipulator. Um, it's the arrows right here. And all, like I said before, all you have to do is left click and drag one of the arrows, and then it will actually move it in that direction. So, um, the next actually manipulator you have is the rotation manipulator. So all you have to do is click on this kind of curved line here, and it represents the, lo uh, the rotation manipulator. So, just like the translation manipulator, all you have to do is click on a certain colored line. Um, this time it's in a kind of spherical shape. Uh, but all you have to do is actually just grab onto it, and it will start rotating, just like you're pressing R, but it's along a certain axis. So if you want to rotate on the Z, it would be blue, and so on. And the last manipulator is the scaling manipulator, so it's this last one right here. Now, what this is, uh, is basically just the same thing, but um, it's going to be scaling along a certain axis. So, if I wanted to scale it in along the X, I'd just grab the, the red manipulator and drag it in. Or drag it out. So, you can actually create combos with the manipulators. So, by selecting one and then shift selecting another one. So, say you have the arrows, the translation manipulator. You can just select it by clicking it down here, and then holding down shift on your keyboard, select another. So, say the translation and rotation. So, you now have a combo of both. So, you can move it and actually rotate it at the same time. Well, not the exact same time, but it's at your disposal. And you can actually shift select the last one as well, and you have pretty much all of them. But uh, some people kind of find this overkill, because it gets a little bit hectic and um, hard to select certain manipulators. So I actually find the rotation and translation one the most useful as a combo. So just like that. So if you find that the manipulator is just getting in the way, you can actually disable it as well. Um, you just have to go down to this option right here. It's the first, first option right before the translation manipulator. So once you click this, it will get rid of the manipulators completely. And you're left with your object.